students let's continue with the contention based protocols with reservation mechanisms in the synchronous protocols so far we have seen about dprma cata and hrma now let's see about these two srm apa fprt so these two are also the synchronous protocols so in this video i want to explain about the contention based protocols with reservation mechanisms of synchronous protocols so now let's see about the SRMAPA. What it means? SRMAPA is a soft reservation multiple access with priority assignment. This is a soft reservation multiple access with priority assignment. It developed with the main objective of supporting integrated service of real time and non real time applications in ad hoc networks. At the same time, it maximizes statistical multiplexing gain. So, the main use of this protocol is it's supporting both real-time and non-real-time applications in ad hoc networks. And also, it maximizes the statistical multiplexing gains. Here, the nodes uses a collision avoidance handshake mechanisms. So, whatever the nodes that are present for communication, so those nodes uses a collision avoidance handshake mechanisms and a soft reservation mechanism. So that's why we call it as a soft reservation multiple access with priority assignment. So here the collision avoidance can be avoided by using the handshake mechanisms and a soft reservation mechanism. Okay, now let's see the next protocol that is a FPRP, which is a synchronous protocol. FPRP is a five phase reservation protocol so by seeing this term what do you understand you are going to learn about the five phases in this reservation protocol okay so now let's see fprp is a contention based protocol with reservation mechanism so we are talking about the second level that is the reservation mechanisms so in that we are discussing about the synchronous protocols not the asynchronous only the synchronous protocols so the last one is five phase reservation protocols is a single channel TDMA time division multiple access based broad broadcast scheduling protocol. So this FPRP needs global time synchronization. Just remember it needs global time synchronization fully distributed and scalable reservation process in localization and it involves only two hope neighbors no hidden terminal problem so these are all the features of this five phase reservation protocols it no needs of need a global time synchronization is needed fully distributed and scalable technique is needed reservation process is localized and no hidden terminal problems are there so here the time is divided into frames we are using the it is a time division multiple access protocol it's a single channel time division ma so here the time is divided into frames one is reservation frame and another is the information frame time is divided into two frames reservation frame and information frame now let's see what is that so this is a frame structure in fprp so I said the complete frame, this is a complete frame size, the complete, so whatever the frame length is, the complete frame is divided into two frames, that is a reservation frame and information frame. RF is a reservation, IF is a information. Okay, so here again the reservation frame is having RS1, RS2 up to RS and N slots will be there. In information frame also, you are having the N slots. Okay, so let's see here. Here each RF has n reservation slots here each rf okay that is the reservation frame is having the n reservation slots n rs is reservation slots okay so here each rs again each rs is composed of m reservation cycles are there so here m reservation cycles so each rf is divided into n reservation slots again each slot whatever the slot you are taken each slot is divided into n m reservation cycles again with each rc a five phase dialogue takes place so here the concept is raising that is a five phase reservation protocol 
So each reservation cycle is divided into five phase reservation dialogue. RR, CR, RC, RA, P by E. Okay. So now let's see what are these five phase reservation. Here you have to remember that the protocol that is the reservation frame is divided into reservation slots and the reservation slot each slot is divided into reservation cycles and each cycle is having the five phase reservation dialogue. So here the concept is right. So corresponding to IS each node would be in. So whatever the IS here it is there. Okay, so that IS each node would be one of the three state whether it is maybe transmit, receive and the block. Okay, so that is the information frame may be the transmit, receive and the block. Now let's see what that five phase protocol. So I said RR is there, CR, RC, RA. Okay, so now let's see this and one more thing. First RR. Reservation request. It sends reservation packet to destination. Reservation packet to destination. First point. The second phase. A collision report. If a collision is detected, suppose any of the node, if a collision is detected by any node, that node broadcasts a CR packet. So, whatever the node that detects the collision, that node is transmitting the collision report packet. Okay. The second, third phase. Reservation confirmation. A source node, whatever the source node that wants to send the data, the source node won the contention will send a reservation confirmation packet to destination node. If it does not receive a CR message, that is a collision report message in the previous phase. Suppose the sender wants to send the data to the receiver. When it sends, whenever it receives, it does not receive the CR message. Whenever it does not receive CR, that is a collision report message, then it Bindasli sends the reservation confirm by the sender. Next, reservation acknowledgement. Destination node acknowledgement reception of reservation confirm by sending back reservation acknowledgement, uh, acknowledgement message to the source. So, here the receiver is sending the acknowledgement to the sender whenever it receives the RC. That is, uh, whenever the reservation is confirmed, then the receiver will send the acknowledgement. And the last one is a packing and elimination. So, the last phase is a packing and elimination. So, this is a five phase protocol. So, packing and elimination. Use packing and elimination packets to, to transfer the data. So, let us see these are the different nodes. Here, these nodes are participating in for data transmitting and the receiving. So, the 1, 7 and the 9. Okay. So, here whatever RR is nothing but reservation request. So, here one is asking for reservation request and here it is asking for reservation request. This node is asking the neighbor nodes for reservation request. Reservation request. Okay. After requesting suppose this dotted is a collision report. So, here it is one is sending the collision report. Okay. There is a collision is there. And this is the RA packet res reservation acknowledgement. So, whenever the reservation request is sent, this four is sending the reservation acknowledgement. Reservation acknowledgement. And this is RC is a reservation confirmation. So, whenever it receives a request and it sends a confirmation, it sends the confirmation. So, this is way how uh, the nodes are communicating by using this protocol. This is a 5S protocol. Okay. Thank you.